Nectar's entry-level all-foam mattress is considered one of the best around, including by us. Naturally, we were excited to get our hands on the Nectar Premier, which is their deluxe upgrade of their base model. But that first glance can be deceiving, so we peeled back the layers on this one, both literally and figuratively, and well, it's a bit of a surprise. All right, so like I said, Nectar is so hot right now. And for good reason, their beds are supportive, they're comfortable, they're affordable. I mean, just a few months ago on this channel, I said the entry-level Nectar was a standout among all foam beds. Well, when we received the Nectar Premier all foam into the studio, we were really excited to dig into it. Now, on the website, the brand indicates this is a bed with five layers, but when we peeled back the cover, we counted three of them. We counted a base layer, a transition layer, and then a comfort layer, so that's, that's three. It took us a while to determine that that fourth layer was actually this phase change material that's been, I guess you could just say painted on top of the layer. Then the fifth layer that Nectar is referring to is the cover, which is kind of this quilted, stretchy, breathable fabric. So yeah, let's call it five layers, but three, it's three. So the first thing we were excited to see about this bed was its upgraded temperature control. Now, Nectar markets this bed as having excellent temperature control thanks to its phase change material we just talked about. Now, just in general, Memory foam sleeps hot. There's no way around it. It does what it's designed to do. It's designed to conform to your body as it warms up and it gives you that hug-like sensation that so many of us really enjoy. And when that hugs to your body, it traps heat. So of course, any attempts to kind of mitigate that heat would be welcome, right? Well, as you can see from this chart, we measured how much the Premier heats up relative to its baseline room temperature. And when we compare that to the average of our foam beds, the Premier didn't heat up as much. Now, you might think that it's that phase change enhanced cooling at work, but check this out. When we measured it against the regular Nectar, we found the Premier actually performed worse, as in it actually heats up more than the regular Nectar. And not only that, it holds on to heat more than the regular Nectar too, and more than the average of our foam beds. So part of this makes sense, right? Since Premier has an extra inch of foam, and as I said, foam tends to sleep hot, more foam is just gonna lead to more heat buildup. For a bed that kind of markets itself as having extra cooling features and being a little bit more money, we thought that we'd find something more inclined to keep you cool at night. And that just was not the case. In fact, if you tend to be a hot sleeper or you need something that keeps you cool at night, you might consider stepping up to the hybrid version of this. At least in that bed, you're gonna get coils in the base, which are gonna provide a little more area for heat to dissipate. When it's all said and done, we really don't see this being a significant upgrade over that base model Nectar. But okay, so that extra inch of foam on the top layer isn't great at keeping you cool. But what does the extra inch of foam actually do? Well, one reason people like foam beds, and especially foam beds with thick comfort layers, is because of exceptional pressure relief. Maybe you suffer from sore or achy joints, maybe you work a physically demanding job, or maybe you just tend to build pressure in the shoulders and hips throughout the night. In our testing on the regular Nectar, we found it was very good at pressure relief because of those foam layers. So we expected that with an additional inch of foam on the Premier, we'd see improved pressure relief in our testing. And we just didn't. Now, don't get me wrong, the pressure relief was still good. As you can see from our pressure mapping testing, there is little to no pressure buildup for back and stomach sleepers and very little around the hips and shoulders for side sleepers. So it's not a problem, right? That's really good. It's just that when you put those results next to the original Nectar, well, you get about the same. So. Not to belabor the point, but again, for an extra $300, you're getting about the same pressure relief capabilities as the regular Nectar. With all this being said, who's the Premier actually good for? We thought it'd be great for hot sleepers, and it wasn't. <laughs> we thought it'd be better at pressure relief, and it wasn't that either. After testing the bed though, we did find it was really good for heavyweight sleepers. Now, foam beds can be tricky for this group because they tend to lack enough firmness to keep your bodies and spines in a really healthy alignment. But we liked that the Nectar Premier tended to offer this group good support by keeping shoulders and hips and spines in a healthy alignment. Those dense foam layers prevented our testers from sinking too far into the layers, which could really compromise support. For reference, I weigh about 215 pounds, and when I laid on the pressure pad, I found the Premier did a really good job of distributing my weight across the surface of the bed. I felt like my hips and my spine were kept in a neutral alignment. I didn't feel any sagging around those areas either. And so yeah, we do think this Premier is a good choice for heavyweight sleepers. So okay, with all that being said, where does this leave us? Well, since we love the Nectar, we were really excited to see how the Premier performed against the original. And with every test, we were just left confused. It was worse at temperature control. It offered the same pressure relief. Sure, it was good for heavyweight sleepers, so that's a plus. It's just that when you realize that for an extra $300, really the only thing you 
get is an additional inch of memory foam, and that actually doesn't materially improve your sleeping experience, it's really hard to make a full recommendation for the Nectar Premier when you could just save your money and get the base model. So if you're interested in learning why we like that original Nectar so much, click on my review to check out that one. And if you want all of our in-depth review of the Premiere, you can head over to sleepfoundation.org. That's it for this one, everyone. Thanks for watching. Sleep well.